Today, we're going to be doing a full showcase of the Figit mod menu for Red Dead Online. If you guys have any interest in picking up this mod menu or any mod menu, make sure you guys use the link down in the description. It'll take you over to wickedgamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. And if you guys use code wicked to check out, you know what it is. You'll get 5% off. All right, guys, it is the F5 key to open and close this mod menu. Once you have it open, you can navigate around with your controller or with the number pad. But starting off up here in the self options page, this is where you guys have options like your no clip to be able to no clip around the map based Basically, just like this we will disable this I don't know if I have god mode on so I will slowly fall to the ground so I do not die continuing on here f5 to open it again um, you can adjust your things like god mode I did have it enabled you have your overpower mode your infinite health options infinite stamina infinite dead eye your infinite eagle eye and never go drunk options are really crazy great options here you have your invisible option your passive mode option that's a really good one to have uh, continuing on you have your never wanted option kind of keeps those police off of your back your in in anti pseudo suede i don't know how you pronounce that i'm uh, not really sure what that does uh you have your anti ragdoll option here oh wait no that is your <laughs> i'm sorry that's your ragdoll option not your anti ragdoll option all right you have your everyone ignores you options your fast swim your no critical hits disable your honor system you can adjust your swim speed your pedestrian scale your suicide option down here at the bottom as well the spawner options here if you are ever you know trying to you know complete say you're doing like a moonshiner business and you need some chocolate daisies for your moonshine or something come in here spawn a bunch of them you can come in here pick them all up whatever you need to do they have tons of options in here to spawn animals uh horses pedestrians herbs you name it pick it can spawn it into the game for you for your uh gun options here you do have your trigger bot options here your aim bot options as well you have your explosive ammo mode oh baby oh my god that was loud uh so you have those crazy options in there your miscellaneous options like repair gun steel gun shoot missiles you can launch predator missiles you can use a swap you know, a swap gun enable boat shooter I've never seen that. Oh my God. You, oh, literally shoots a boat. What the heck? That's crazy, man. Fickett's killing it. Uh, you have your gold shooter. Ah, sick. So now you can go open that up and get some free gold. Turn that option off real quick. Give your cage gun here as well. Uh, is it going to spawn a cage? Oh, we're aiming in slow motion now. That's funny. Uh, all right. Continuing on here, you have your clone gun, your force gun. I wonder if you'll actually let me pick up my horse. No. I don't know if there's anything around here to actually let me pick up. Maybe, no, okay. Anyways, continuing on here, you have your hash gun, your teleport gun here. Anything you shoot at, you'll automatically teleport to. We're aiming in slow motion right now. It's kind of sick. Uh, so you have your magnetic gun down here as well. Continue on here, you have your fish grabber. Basically, I believe, I've never actually messed around with this, so I'm not going to do it right now. I don't even have a fishing rod on this account. But you can come over here. Uh, oh, wait, what? What? I have no idea what she just put down uh interesting all right continuing on here you do have your slow motion option that was why we were going into slow motion while we were shooting uh you have your delete gun here as well as including but not limited to no reload infinite ammo uh, rapid fire options crazy fast rate of fire on thicket you have your always clean option fast reload one shot one kill powerful powerful melee weapons and your clean uh clean gun and then for some reason you find your menu bugging out and you can't cheat uh, you can't shoot come in here and do this and it'll kind of clear the issues your teleport options here as well you have your my teleports you can save teleport locations you can also easily come in here teleport to chest you can find treasure chests uh you can do tree maps here as well uh you can go right to uh you know this is uh the saint denis police post or post office sorry everything's eventually going to spawn in here but they have a lot of pre-built spawners in here as well you do have your esp options here i don't know if there's anyone near us that we're actually going to be able to see any esp info doesn't look like it maybe you have to do drop box ah okay so you can see P there you go there's all of those people every line here is going off to a single person which is pretty crazy um uh rabidu that's my horse right there uh, what's this guy looking at can i help you buddy that's what i thought keep walking all right you have your horse options here that have things like you know your fire hooves options for your horse i believe we have to be on the horse yep as you can see the fire hooves turn on you can lock your horse uh you can do a hard horse i don't know what this this, this horse can be more aggressive and and no gonna flee okay 
You have your horse infinite stamina here, or your horse god mode, your invisible horse options. You can keep your horse always clean. Uh, you can change your variation of your horse. You can max level your horse, clone it, clean it, and that's it for the horse options. For vehicle options here, I'm not going to go through every single one because they're all the exact same options that are in the horse option. Things like god mode, seatbelt, uh, vehicle fly, vehicle jump, basically all the same options here. If you guys bought the lifetime version of Thicket, not just the week or the month key, you get access to this lifetime section here. You come in here, you can edit the map. Um, the most important thing in here is probably the trader goods. Sorry, excuse me. Basically, when you enable this, like this, you can come set it. Whatever you set in here, Crips will automatically have this many goods. So you can come in here, set it to 100, immediately go sell it. It's crazy fast, easy way to make money. Give your Moonshiner booster in here as well. It basically does the exact same thing, including a recovery loop down there as well. Your miscellaneous options, you can come in here and enable the free camera options. Basically, you can come around here if you want to, you know, maybe get some different thumbnails and stuff. Kind of like Rockstar Editor type vibe. Uh, continuing on here, if we exit camera, um, you can come down here and you have your uh, server options in here. Uh, you can have a kill feed when people die. It'll show you it on the right side of the screen. You can also blip your players and stop music events. Um, you have your, oops, go back. You have your protection options in here. Basically, the things that you need to enable are enabled by default, I believe, for the most part. Um, Basically, just if someone tries to crash you, it's going to block it. But if there's a certain type of crash that maybe you do not have enabled in here and you're getting crashed with that, you can come in here and easily put on a protection for that crash. You do have all of your Lua options in here. Unfortunately, I'm not very much into Luas, so if you guys want me to get into them and make videos on them, let me know in the comments down below. So we're going to have to leave that section alone for now. And then you do have your players options here. Um which we're going to avoid going on to just so I don't have to blur up people's IP addresses and all that crap. Essentially, it's basically just there's some friendly and non-friendly options in there that let you grief people or give them money and crazy great things like that. And then these settings options down here where you can basically just move the menu around where you want it, get it nice on your screen, and change up the uh, aesthetics of the menu, change the colors, the header, stuff like that. But guys, that's it for this video. If you guys have any interest in picking up this mod menu or any mod menu, make sure you guys use the link down in the description. I'll take you over to wikigamers.com. That's gamers with a Z. All right, guys. I I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.